All right, it's a good time of training right now. Day 28 out of 60, so about halfway through my preparation for wing bowl. Uh, the weight's coming off great. I'm really pleased with that. Um, that's going super well. I need to continue to lose some weight, though. Um, it's still making me incredibly weak, uh, especially walking up steps if I stand up too quickly. Uh, working on my wing bowl float uh, from kneeling down and standing up, it's uh, get lightheaded real quick. But things are going well. Um, I'm able to get through it for training now. I've been holding myself to two gallons a day. Um, so now today I'm starting to crank it up. I did two and a quarter today. Um, probably could have gone about two and three quarters, but I'm still trying to hold myself back, trying to kind of peak for wing bowl. Uh, so I don't want to do too much volume now, but it's uh, an exciting part of the training because I get to typically just keep adding water every day. So my numbers should be going up as far as the, the total volume. Not really paying attention to how quick my uh, two gallon time is. Um, it's tough to do a, a quick two gallon time and then continue to on for extra because uh, you don't want to too too much pressure too quickly um, when you're doing your two gallons because it's going to affect you for when you're trying to do actual uh, continue to do actual volume. So looking forward to that. Uh, floats going really well. Can't really show you too many more pictures of the float because it's supposed to be a uh, you know top secret for wing bowl. I do have today's shout out. It's uh, Mo Train. Mo Train's a fellow wing bowl eater. He's asking me about uh, losing weight and and water training. Um, how's that affecting you know my stomach? Uh, eating as few calories as I am right now doesn't really help you with your capacity. Um, so it, it is a lot of work for me to to do the water training right now. Um, once I, I get my goal weight though, uh, it should be much easier. I'll be eating more calories and then the closer it gets, the more excited you get. Um, you're still a month out. So it's, it's kind of hard to be too excited about something cause you, you don't want to get tired of it by the time the contest come, but comes, but, uh, just keep working away. Uh, so I haven't done a video for a little bit, but the weight, as you can see, if you're following along, still going, uh, thanks for the support, everybody out there. Look forward to, um, Doing more as we I also wanted to talk about uh, the Battle of Big Eaters. It was a contest that uh, had teams from multiple countries uh, in the tournament eating uh, to see who the best country was. I managed to represent the United States and was one of four people competing against Team Japan for uh, gold medal, so to speak. Uh, here's my bib. This here is my age, which puts me at one of the older eaters out there. I think I could have been everyone, but like three or maybe four eaters uh, dad out of 20 some eaters. But all good. I held my own. Unfortunately, uh, my team of two lost to uh, Japan's team of two. So we lost that one, but I had some strong uh, teammates that helped us out and we ended up uh, with a gold medal. So this is one of those few souvenirs that I actually will uh, keep for my competitive eating career. Uh, it was um, an excellent time and, and an honor to represent my country. I wow, totally forgot about the Nathan's VIP badge uh, that people aren't dying to get, but 75 subscribers, get that and this card sent out to you. Take care.